destroying designer clothes, burning money, all in the name of a disturbing new township youth culture. What is driving this bling trend? Izikotane, they tear up expensive clothes, burn money, even spit ultramel on each other, all to prove that money is no object. So what drives township youths to these extremes? Social trend analyst Jamal Inklidlana has documented the Izikotane lifestyle. My theory on that is, you know, you get to a point where, you know, everyone's got the wares and, you know, how do you distinguish yourself now? Um, how do you get power over um, the, the next person is by destroying these values of um, these symbols of value. So this thing, this Morishini t-shirt that you hold in, in such high regard, I'm going to take it, I'm going to burn it. And for me, that raises you and it, it gives you more power over, over I guess, your, your rivals. A photo of an Izikotane burning, tearing or spitting can go viral, giving them instant celebrity status. Burning? Yeah, I mean, like it's for them, I think more than um, more than money, you know, what they value most is is respect and recognition. And for them, that's that's kind of their currency. So if that means burning a, a, a T-shirt is going to give them that respect, they are happy to do that. The Getso, the leader of the Born Agains, is unemployed. The Izikotane lifestyle is good for his self-esteem, even if they're disliked. Like many of them, he comes from a working class family. He insists that spending thousands on brand name clothing is justified. I don't think we're going to waste it because we're going to get it. Anything we're going to get, I mean, we're going to get it. I cannot say we're going to get it. Because we're going to get it. Sadly, it is often the parents who cough up to feed this expensive trend. But the Getzo's uncle is happy to fund his lifestyle. Yeah, the lifestyle by Pilar, you are queen number one. Over here, because my mother is a little bit of a trouble. The Getzo's role model is socialite Kenny Goneni. Tina Simtata Jenges Kotan. We are the ends and no one to your home. We swear I didn't take a push. I am a Porsche. I'm a in. I'm a Louis Vuitton. Listen to this guy. Actually, we are going to travel. I hope I enjoy jacket. We are going to wear one day. I don't know. I like South Africa. You know that. Yeah, nothing you can tell me. Sinja alo. We phone up. We are going to shy into it. We are expensive. By one day, I will end all. They will buy a small cake. Kenny Gunani is flattered, but he's not impressed with the way they go about it. I don't agree with the part of tearing clothes because I don't think anyone of our generation and before us have ever uh, torn clothes. The difference is when, when I was young, when I was in school and my friends came from rich families and they bought clothes at Outfitters and my grandmother could only buy clothes from Sally's house, I decided to sell fruits during break at school. I decided to work on weekends at taverns, picking up empties. But many say it is precisely the so-called bling lifestyle flaunted by the likes of Kenny Goneni and Kanye Mbao, not to mention well-known politicians, that is influencing township kids. Hip-hop artist Hydro admits that hard-working citizens are not role models. The sad truth about South Africa we see people with degrees in the neighborhoods. Ekasi boma Alex. You find a nigga here walking around here with a degree in marketing. 
he's not working. Well, I don't want to be like that guy. He's broke. He's got a degree. What is it doing for him? So therefore, what do we do as young kids? We look up to people of Afanana Bukeni Kunen. For the Izikotane, restraint is not in their vocabulary. The lure of opulence is just too strong. That's why it's all about, you know, the, these, these expensive things. And yeah, the whole culture, it's, it's materially obsessed, the yeah. culture. <laughs> These parties show no signs of stopping. It is bling gone mad. Expensive clothes, alcohol, very young kids partying as if tomorrow doesn't matter. Coming up, did the pressure to conform to an excessively expensive bling lifestyle lead to suicide?